Hello, anime fans. I'm Katie Cullen with Fanversation. I'm at Anime Expo, and here's who I talked with today. I am here with Team Four Star. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. How are you? Yeah, really uh, busy day, but that's good for us. We, we like busy here. Yeah, because you're doing merch sales and whatnot today, right? Yeah, that does mean the busy is typically better than uh, dead day on that grant. Yeah, as much as I'd like to be able to just kind of sit at my table with nobody there, that also means that I'm going to waste. So, yeah, no, I love I love a line. I love a line. Also, like a majority of the reason we come to places like this is so that we get to actually, you know, get FaceTime with people, meet yes. people, and it's the most exciting prospect of it all, really, going yeah. to conventions. I love meeting fans. They're all so friendly and cool, and it's, it's nice to get personal feedback. From the people that make the shit we do possible. Oh, yeah. So I know we're only on day two, but what has been the we most... Are? I know, right? What day no! is it? <laughs> I mean, I'm very excited for more days. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the days at Anime Expo are great. When you, it, it, for the convention attendee, there's so much to see, so much to do. When you're here like us, you're, you're in a booth all day, and your own your like only solace is getting to meet lots of awesome people basically i had a hobo tell me about gentrification yeah that wasn't here though that was outside <laughs> i think i was gonna ask what your most memorable fan interaction so far has been but i think that might be it <laughs> if we're talking about at this con specifically hard to say a lot of really cool cosplays here actually oh, yeah. you know anime expo's got some of the best cosplayers in the country and uh, second only to like some of the bigger comic cons dragon con yeah oh. that's a big cosplay con yeah but... dragon con is like it in san diego comic con so uh, but yeah no there are a lot of really cool people here the people watching is top tier like that's that's another like you know at least you're not bored sitting at the booth never you're, there's so much walking around it's just incredible seeing some of these costumes people can come up with yep so we're in the middle of DBZ Abridged, and I am beyond happy that we're getting a season three. Thank you for confirming that. Four. I can count. It's okay, no worries. I'm just happy we're, we're getting we're five, we're six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just happy we're, we're getting we're another season. Zero, then technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Season one is actually season zero. Wouldn't Dragon Ball be season zero? Fuck. Technically, all things <laughs> considered. <laughs> Uh, we, we're very excited, though. Uh, it, season four is going to be very, very different. Uh, we, we're, we're experimenting with some stuff, trying to make it so that certain companies are less angry about certain uses of certain footages. But you know, we're uh, we're looking to move forward and try out some new stuff here, yeah. and we'll be getting samples of that coming out this year. Mm -hmm. All right, looking forward to it. What are you looking forward to the audience seeing most? What are you most excited for everyone to see? Actually, uh, we've got this thing coming out, and I can't name it yet, but um, if you liked the segment from Kai 3, the My Hero Academia segment, we've got more stuff like that in the future, and I'm very excited. And of course, we're always excited for uh, getting the, you know, whatever the next thing is out. We're just, it, oh, that's that's always the answer. It's whatever the next thing is, that's what we're most excited for people to see, because yeah. we love seeing everybody's reactions. We love, you know, watching those analytics diddle about and seeing like oh they like this they hated that shit ah great ah great you know it's just a lot of fun yeah. so then what is the next big project can you tell us uh the next big project is whatever everybody loves that we put out i suppose yeah i mean that's i mean one of the one of the next things we are working on and this is a shout out for our boy takata 101 up in vancouver who couldn't make it this weekend single tier um he's working on a project called awf and if you're into wrestling you might actually really dig this show. Uh, we think it's going to come along really funny, really, it's very different from anything we've done. Yes. And yeah, so hopefully you guys love it. Please. Yeah, I, I visited the uh, set a couple of times during the production on this. The guys that were working on it are fantastic. I love the camera work because this is going to be something, it'll be very unique when we finally get a uh, full product out there to show everybody. Yeah. Pie in the sky. If you guys could do anything. What would you like to do? At Anime Expo? Just, like at Anime Expo or in general? Um, in general, under the Team Four Star umbrella, but also at Anime Expo. Let's. Oh. Multiple well, part question. Five paragraph essay. Start with a topic sentence. You know. Actually, I've had this animated series or a comic book series, either way, that I've been wanting to work on for several years, but it's just a very involved project, um, and I don't want to get too much into it, but it was going to be a parody of Magical Girl shows. Yeah, uh, it, hopefully one of these yeah. days I'll be, get that, I'll be able to get that off the ground. Anything at Anime Expo in particular, I want a panel. I'd love a panel here so we can premiere something at Anime Expo. That would be top tier, yes. but it's so hard. I would love John Q. Disney to come walk up to me, shake my hand, and tell me, hey, 
go ahead and work with Star Wars. We'd love for you to work with Star Wars. Oh, we're at Anime Expo? That's great. <laughs> That's how that conversation would go. <laughs> I'm just imagining Star Wars abridged John and... Q. Oh, my God. Yes, John Q. Disney. That's mm -hmm. absolutely who's in charge of the company right now. Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, you got your name on it. <laughs> All right. Well, one last thing. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? The ones who couldn't make it to Anime Expo but are watching this. Uh, thank you all for making this weird, bizarre life of ours possible. The stuff that we do would not be possible without you guys out there. Uh, we hope we do get to see you at a con someday, be it at one that's far away from you or one that we happen to get invited too close to you. We're lucky to have the fan base that we do. They're, uh, they love what we do. They've supported us. They're fervish about us. And again, I, we wouldn't be where we are without you guys. So we love you. Thank you so much. All right, and thanks for talking with us. Thank you.